Portuguese food, live music, and of course the Madeira wine. We're talking about the 107th Feast of the Blessed Sacrament returning to New Bedford tonight. And new at 530, we're hearing from a butcher about the amount of meat needed to put on this festival. Let's send it over to 12 News anchor Shannon Heggie, who's live in New Bedford. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Kim and Mike. You know, I told you at five o'clock about how they've really upped the ante with the amount of food and wine they have for this year's feast. They're expecting big crowds with a nearly perfect forecast. Plus, this is the year that they really think everybody's ready to rebound from the pandemic. So they're preparing for those big crowds, and that includes thousands of pounds of sirloin beef for the Carn de Spit, which is a huge attraction here at the feast every year. It's an outdoor pit where you can skewer and cook your own meat, and we got an inside look as they were preparing all of that meat earlier today. Take a look. All right, so this is where all the prep work is going on. All of this meat for the big barbecue that is famous here at the feast. And I'm told they've increased the meat by a thousand pounds. So we've got 5,000 pounds of sirloin being prepped right now for all the people that are going to be coming to the feast this year. So did you guys just start? We started about noontime and uh, we've been chopping away all day long. We put it in the packaging and save it for when the people come by. They load their spit up to cook the carne de spit in the uh, grill over there. And everybody seems to love it. It's been a perennial favorite forever. I'm a Polish guy. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a Portuguese person, so I'm tr out here trying to help everybody. Well, you're Portuguese for this weekend. My wife is Portuguese, so oh, that's... Oh, now we know. Yeah. <laughs> And Why was it important for you to be a part of this coming out of retirement to go back to what you used to do? I love cooking and cooking. I didn't get this boyish figure eating popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think is so popular about being able to put the meat on a spit? I mean, that draws so many people. Nothing is more primal than beef on a stick cooked over fire. Nothing is more primal. And you'll make sure to get in on that spit oh, later. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm hungry just thinking about it. Nothing is more primal. Don't you love the way he describes that? Of course, the Carne de Spit is just one of the big attractions here. You've got the Malasadas, which is the typical uh, fried dough. You've got the Madeira wine, which we're going to show you more about coming up at 6. The opening ceremony is getting underway uh, behind me in just a few moments. Gates open up tonight at 6. So much fun to be had over the next four days here at the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. We're live in New Bedford. Back to you, Mike and Kim. The gates have just opened for the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament in New Bedford. One big change this year, the addition of metal detectors. They're similar to the ones that you see at big venues like Gillette or Fenway. But there's one thing that's always been a part of the feast, and that draws big crowds every year. 12 News anchor Shannon Heggie joins us now live from New Bedford to tell us all about it. You think Sh Shannon's had anything to eat yet? I hope Shannon? So. <laughs> Yeah, you guys saw me holding that malasada at the beginning of the newscast. I ate that. It's gone. Uh, couldn't resist. But of course, you're right. The crowds are going to be huge for the next four days. Organizers expect them to be really large, especially taking into account the nearly perfect forecast and the fact that people they think are really finally able to come back after COVID. Now, in preparation for all of that, they've really upped the ante when it comes to the food. It's all focuses around Portuguese culture, the food. More importantly, the wine, the Madeira wine. Wine. There are just barrels of it ready to go. And we talked to one of the organizers, uh, the volunteers inside the Madeira wine uh, hut behind me, whose family has been a part of this feast for a very long time. Take a look. All right, I'm here with Dave Pixoto, whose grandfather was a founder of the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. So this is this is in the family now because you're here working on the Madeira wine station, which is one of the most famous things here at the feast. Yes, it's been a long heritage for us and we come down here. All our family will be here this weekend. So it's a, it's a kind of like another Christmas for us. Another Christmas. Now talk to us about prepping because we need a lot of wine. <laughs> yes, we get 29 barrels of wine uh, that come over from Madeira, came over probably mid-year. And then we also, Tuesday night, we have sangria night where the family gets together. We made about 350 gallons of sangria. Oh, my goodness. What is it about the Madeira wine that everybody comes for? I mean, everybody's got the shirts that say got Madeira. What is it about it? It's special. It's a port wine. It, we run it cold. It tastes really, really good on a hot summer day. But coming out of a barrel, it's very different than coming out of a bottle. So you really f can taste it. There's cheers in many languages. Here it's Anosa Saud. Yeah. Anosa Saud. Ooh, that's amazing. 
Feast, you guys. Not my first time here at the Feast, you guys, but I'm learning something. Not my first time here at the Feast, you guys, but I'm learning something new. Obviously, you should know cheers in multiple languages. It's important. Of course, aside from the Madeira wine, the Carne de Spit, which is behind me back there, that's uh, where you can grill your own meat on a big outside pit. Uh, there's also, of course, the Malasadas, which I referenced at the beginning of our live shot here. Uh, I was going to do a show and tell, but I had to eat it. It's a fried dough coated in a nice coarse sugar. Absolutely delicious. And there's tons of food here at the Feast. The aromas in the air are fantastic. Live music tonight. We for the headliner. We've got Barry Goudreau, formerly of the band Boston, taking the stage. Uh, the gates are open. Good times to be had over the next four days here in New Bedford. Back to you guys in the studio.